<laughs> this fucking idiot bought a sword to a gunfight? Oh fuck. Hello friends, my name is Zach, and I'm making a game about a duck with a gun. Or uh, I guess it's not about that anymore? I don't know, we'll find out. So I was watching the latest season of Westworld recently, and towards the end, one of the main robot homies has to kill this other robot homie, and at some point she just decides to start carrying around a katana for some reason. Like it's, it's just not explained, like at all. Anyway, as I was watching, I was like, wow, that's so stupid. You can't just shoehorn in like a random katana because it looks cool. Then I finished the episode and got back to work on my game. And I was like, hey, if I chucked a katana in, that'd be pretty fucking epic. So that's what I decided to do. But first I had to make a new keyboard. Cause everyone knows, code comes from the keyboard. And if you have a good keyboard, then you're gonna have some good code. It's just a fact, I don't make the facts. I'm sorry guys. First. I did some research. One article. Two articles. Three articles. I ordered the parts. I waited a bit. I did some more research. I read lube was important. I ordered some lube. Wait, wait, not, not that kind of lube. I read it'd be easier to lube the switches with a 3D printed thing. I went to print the thing, but the printer was clogged. I tried to clean it. Clogged. So I tried to clean it again. Still clogged. I did some more research. One article. Two articles. Three articles. I ordered some cleaning stuff. I waited some more. I got tired of waiting. I used a screwdriver instead. It sucked. I got a boo-boo. The parts came. But not all of them. Fuck. I'm not really sure why the parts didn't come in time, but oh well. What was I doing again? Oh yeah, katanas. You might be thinking, wow, that's so easy to do. Your code should already be object oriented to let you add new weapons easily. And to that I say, get the fuck out of here. You think I've been writing good code and actually planning for the future? Who do you think I am? I didn't think anyone would actually be interested in such a stupid game idea. I mean, come on, it's a fucking duck. So, I mean, I've just been hacking this bad boy together with uh, band-aids and hot glue. It's not pretty. So first off, I had to make a weapon switching system because at the moment the duck is very attached to his gun, but like really attached, like literally. Come on, give me, give, hey, click, give me, give me the gun. Hey, let go, let go. So I had to write a bunch of code and rewire the existing gun system to allow for different weapons. I also thought it'd be cool to be able to pick up guns from enemies for some John Wick style improvised murder fun times when you're out of bullets but don't have time to reload. After all that was done, of course I had to whack in some slow-mo for when you switch weapons because that's just how we do things here. So now that we can switch weapons, I added in the katana, which is uh, technically a gun. Still duck with a gun, ha <laughs> ha, got him. So after studying the blade for a bit, I whipped up a quick model for this bad boy. And as I was making it, I was like, hey, you know what would make for some epic gamer moments? Being able to deflect bullets, just like in the movies. But the thing is, this is a hard game for pro gamers only. So you can't just hold to deflect bullets automatically, like some sort of little baby noob. <laughs> uh, do, people, do people still say noob? I'm, I'm a boomer. So instead, you have to time your clicks to deflect bullets, or you'll eat shit. Your click has to be within 0.2 seconds of the bullet being in front of you, so it takes a bit of practice to get the hang of. But when you do, you're like, oh ho ho, now this is epic. But I was still missing the meat and potatoes of the katana, which, as we all know, is chopping up dudes. Just playing a shitty death animation really isn't enough for me. I want to see some chopped up dudes. So I got chopping. NANI?! I thought I could just cut the existing spooky skeleton in half, and well, uh, yeah, that, that went about as well as I thought. So I decided to try re-rig and split the model myself. Because how hard could it be? <laughs> but actually it wasn't, wasn't that bad. I found these amazing tutorials by my boy, uh, Royal Sky Limited Liability Company where he wastes no time fucking around and tells you exactly what you need to know in the shortest amount of time possible. So you need to rig your character now. Not a problem. Best tutorial I've ever seen, 10 out of 10. The guy sounds like he does a line before recording. So after having the relevant information beamed directly into my prefrontal cortex, I got to work. Still a bit of a struggle, but I managed to get it all rigged up in the end. You can even see the points in the time-lapse where I run into a problem and cry, like here. Or here. Or here. 
Anyway, I chucked it into Unity, and after fighting with the physics for a bit, I got the colliders working on the cut up model. I then gave him the old switcheroo, so when you slice an enemy, it turns off the model and replaces it with the sliced one. Oh hey, I didn't see you there. To finish off the effect, what you want to do is you want to make just a quick, real quick swing animation for the katana. You know, keep it real simple. Full, five keyframes max, perfect. And after you've done that, you want to add in the marinated blood particles you prepared earlier and just dab them lightly around the cut. Then what you want to do is use a large bowl to toss all the layered sound effects together. While that's simmering, add in some trail renderer to really emphasize that swing. When that's finished, turn off the gas, sprinkle in a bit of slow-mo to taste, and you're done. Mamma mia. I struggled a bit with the control scheme, but the current setup is that it'll deflect bullets by default until you get close enough to an enemy or breakable object, and then it'll go chop chop. But don't take my word for it. Hey you, do you want to violate the Geneva Conventions? Well now you can. Wow. Because I've got a really shitty build of the game up on my new Discord server. Join today. May cause cancer. Restrictions apply. Call your doctor. Interaction lasts longer than four hours. Offer a Currently, the game is pretty boring, since it's only like, well, uh, just two levels. And look, I'll, I'll keep it real with you, the AI is still a bit dodgy, but I'd love to hear what you guys think. I'm also proud to announce I got the first ever Duck With A Gun fan art the other day, so I figured it was probably time for a Discord. You'll be able to chat with me, vote on feature suggestions, and see the latest work being done on the game. I also want to do some other fun stuff in the future, like crowdsourcing graffiti to put into the game. Mostly because I'm lazy, but I thought it'd be super cool if anyone could just write something and like have it show up in a game somewhere. So, links down in the description if you're into that. Tune in next month, and maybe I'll finally get around to making some fucking levels. Alright, that's it.